I will say coming to a cemetery kind of puts gives you a little perspective on uh, on sort of uh, the preciousness of your life because it, these people are going to be here dead for I guess forever I mean th thousands of millions of years maybe I don't know uh, forever it's hard to wrap your head around it and these people all had a lives. They've lived these little lives, 80 years, 70 years, 60 years, little window of opportunity to be alive, to, to, to look around and be engaged. And then once you're dead, you go under the ground and you just sit there forever, right? And, and lately I've been feeling sort of down and thinking about, you know, when, when I don't feel good, I start thinking, I start, I get dramatic, you know, like, I don't know. If I can, you know, suicide, maybe, maybe I'll commit suicide one day. You know, I started having those thoughts. It was really self-pity. I'm extremely into self-pity. I don't know if you've picked that up. But when you come to a cemetery and you really feel like death is, this is what death is. Just infinite, sitting under the ground, life going on around you, people going back home from work on the freeway. You know, in a short time, they'll all be under the ground. It's all going to be over. I'll be under the ground. That's it. You know, I'm halfway dead. And I'm 38. And I think about that Louis C.K. bit where he's 40. He's half dead. You said he's half dead. Yeah, it's kind of true. I mean, 40. I mean, if a man lives to be 80, that's a pretty long time for a man. Especially these days where people are actually dying earlier. I'm halfway dead. My half my life is gone. And I got a half left. Who knows if how long I got left. But one thing's for sure, it's going to end and I'll be either burned into dust or I'll be sitting in a box underneath the grass forever. And that will last forever. This is it. I only got this one half of this one human life left and it's done. I am gone forever. Kind of trippy. And it kind of makes you feel like, why the fuck are you wasting time whining? What do you, like the other, I'm a schizophrenic I think, so I have voices in my head. And the one voice I have is a whiny, you know, woe is me voice. And then there, I have the other voice that's the mean voice like, Shut the fuck up, pussy. Shut the fuck up. Okay, you got a half of one life to live and you spend 90% of it fucking whining. You don't even have a disease, Max. You will one day, but you right now you don't. And the day you have your fucked up illness that will kill you, you will you would say, "Ah, I didn't realize how good I had it when I didn't have a disease." I can't believe the days when I didn't have a disease. I spent most of my time unhappy and complaining. I wish I could go back in time and just fucking beat myself with a fucking hammer. That's how that's how much I resent my old self for being such a bitch back when I didn't have a disease. Now I have a, now I'm sick. I'm nauseous all the time. I can't get out of bed. And I used to in the past not have a disease. And I still fucking complained. In fact, I wasted years complaining. Years I could have been doing anything, literally anything I wanted. I fucking complained. And I worried. I worried too. What were you worried about? I was worried that when robots took over, wow, you wasted that little tiny blip of time you had as a human worrying about when robots took over. You <laughs> fucking idiot. Do you think any of these people in the grass there? Do you think any of those people, if I said, hey, you know what, lucky thing you're down underground and not where I'm at, sitting here in a nice car in a beautiful day, because, you know, there's a lot of scary YouTube videos about robots taking over that you'd probably watch and be scared. Good thing you're dead. You wouldn't want to be this guy, let me tell you. <laughs> lot of stuff to worry about. <laughs> we have a president right now? You know, who tweets weird shit. You're fucking lucky. You're fucking lucky you're down there. 
<laughs> yeah, let me tell you right now, you're lucky you're not me. All I do is is drink too much beer and eat too much. You're fucking lucky. Yeah, you know what? The other day I was supposed to work really hard and I promised myself and then I just drank beer and laid out in the sun and got a nice tan. Such a loser. I'm so depressed. You're fucking lucky.